In the world of sports division three, women's college basketball almost never ever makes national headlines, but performance on Sunday in Cincinnati is certainly changing all of that. Steve Hartman was at the game. He is here making his debut on CBS this morning. We love when that happens, Steve, with the effort that will be remembered long after all the other sports stories of the year are forgotten. Steve, good morning. Good morning to you. When the Mount St. Joseph University women's basketball team took to the floor in their season opener, all eyes were on a player named Lauren Hill, quite possibly the most devoted player the game has ever seen. And a five foot 11 freshman. Death has never been more brazenly snubbed as it was yesterday afternoon when freshman Lauren Hill ran onto the basketball court with a smile wide as a three point line. For the past year, this is all she's been thinking about. Ever since she was diagnosed with an inoperable brain tumor, Lauren's goal has been simply to live long enough to play in her first college basketball game. I wanted to wear those shoes and wear that jersey and feel like a superhero again because that's how, what I feel when I put on the jersey and that number. To prepare herself, Lauren went to practice with everyone else at 5.30 a.m. Never mind that she couldn't even do most of the drills anymore. Never mind the debilitating headaches. She refused to lie in bed. When I'm not there, I don't, I feel like I'm letting people down. Lauren has weeks to live at best, and here she is worried about letting other people down. Why does that matter so much to you? Because I love them. They're like my family. And they keep me going. They're what's making me positive. But it took more than will to get Lauren to this moment. Because time was so short, the NCAA allowed Mount St. Joseph to move their season opener up two weeks. They also had to change the venue to accommodate all the people who wanted to support Lauren. This arena seats 10,000, and it's sold out. The crowd was thrilled just to see her set foot on the floor, and that's really all anyone was expecting to see. But Coach Dan Benjamin didn't want to stop there. As he told me in an interview two weeks earlier, he wanted her to score. I can't pray enough that that happens. Is this a game plan or a Hollywood script you're writing? <laughs> it's a game plan. We <laughs> got to get her a layup somehow, so that's, that's the plan. And we'll leave her in as long as she can go, and we'll let her play the game that she loves. Unfortunately, by game day, Lauren no longer had the energy to even run down the court more than once or twice. But Dan figured if they could just get the opening tip, maybe, just maybe, the screen comes, the ball goes down to Lauren Hill, and the layup is good. Lauren scored that basket and another one at the very end. Cancer? What cancer? We will remember that layup forever. Today has been the best day I've ever had. Glorious as that game was, Lauren won't be basking in the glow of it for long. In the time she has left, she'll be working, raising money for The Cure Starts Now, an orga organization that funds pediatric brain cancer research. How does she plan to raise that money? She has a thing called Layups for Lauren. It's like the ALS bucket challenge. So expect this to appear on a Facebook page near you sometime soon mm -hmm. because this is going to spread like wildfire as well. Go, Lauren. But, uh, I'll say go, Lauren. When she was first diagnosed, I, I read that her big thing was, will I be able to play basketball? It, you just took our hearts and just squeezed it, Steve, for this young woman. Oh, she did for 10,000 people. Yeah. I mean, I was at that game. And my cameraman, oh. you know, 56-year-old uh, man in tears, everybody mm -hmm. in tears. Well, you brought us to tears, too. Thank you, yeah. Steve.